just wanna see ya Please give me a sign, yeah Please give me a sign, yeah I just wanna love I don't wanna fight I just wanna see ya Please give me a sign, yeah Alright guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Sorry for the delay. Um, you know, I just don't really have things to record, but you know, I'm trying my best. So I thought, you know, as I'm still at work here, I, you know, get you guys to see what I do. Um, some of you guys might know it's standard detailing, but they are on higher end cars, you know, Porsches, Rolls Royces, uh, Bentleys, stuff like that. But right now this one, is a Rolls Royce Dawn, as you can see, pretty dirty. And uh, this person is a smoker. He has a big cigar just in the front right there. Disgusting. And it smells and it's just, yeah, this car, this car is a little beat up for what it is. And you know, all of this bottle of water, lighters and all that stuff are all inside the cabin. I'm uh, putting in the trunk just so you know it's not in the way and so the cabin can look clean and all that stuff so what i'm doing now is i'm gonna blow it out and then um get to scrubbing the leather and all that stuff um i would set you guys up for a time lapse but you know as i'm at work i don't have you know my gimbal or my uh stand for you guys so i'll just update you guys as i go along and you know i, I, I have to get this done by the end of the day because it's due for Monday and we don't work tomorrow, so it has to get done. So just thought I'd show you guys what I do. So uh, yeah, I'll show you a little bit, but you know, open up the compartment right here. You do uh, move everything towards the front, blow it towards the front, so it's easier to vacuum up once we get to the front. Now that. That section is good. Press the button. Okay. It's been sitting for a little bit. Doesn't want to go automatically, so you come over here. Get the key. Nice Rolls Royce key. Hit the button. And then, voila. Smooth on our own. Fancy, right? Then. A little bit later, it's amazing what a blowout and a vacuum can do. Um, this is probably a multi vacuum type of car, so now that I just did the first one, I'm probably gonna do one again. The next step, you know, some of you guys might know from another video I did showing you guys what I do for the interior. Um, this is a bucket of just water and uh, degreaser, simonized degreaser. It works really well for the leather especially. And we have a bunch of magic erasers in there. Mr. Clean Magic Erasers, they work well, especially with the leather, getting all like certain stains out and stuff like that, you know, scuff marks. But, you know, usually a lot of these cars are really not that bad, but this one is uh, one of the worst examples. But, you know, if you got money and, you know, you own a, basically a $300,000 car, you can do whatever you want you with it. So, yeah, no judging. But literally just come in here, get a nice one over here. Bring it out. Let's go over. Yes, this may damage the car as long as you don't... Uh, you know, sit in one spot for too long or, you know, put too much pressure because it will like eat through it, like kind of like sandpaper. But, you know, as long as you have a nice gliding touch with it, you're fine. Take the towel. Wipe it. what I would basically do. Um, I could go faster with using the air gun too, just to dry it up a lot faster, and go through it faster. Help get more out of the nooks and crannies, but I just thought I'd show you what 
you know, the process of that. And just like that, interior is for the most part ready for the mats to go back in. So we'll do some YouTube magic and mats will be in three, two, one. And just like that, these mats are actually like the fur mats. I don't know if you can really see that, but fancy. I mean, you can see the rest of the upholstery on the inside. Fancy. But now, gotta pull the top back up, clean the windows, and then bring it over to the wash bay. All right, so right now we're in the wash bay now. Sorry for the noise, but as you can see, the wheels are really dirty. So I have some acid, wheel acid right here. Nothing crazy, it's watered down and just spray away. These wheels are pretty dirty to the point where I'm definitely gonna have to clean these more than once. So just, yes, I do spray these dry just because uh, wet, I don't think it's really gonna like um, cut through all the brake dust. I've always done this with whatever car I do a detail on. So, you know, yeah. So I would spray it, come over here, get a rat tail or, you know, just wheel brush and guys as you can see the dawn is done um one thing i wanted to show you guys is the actual carbon fiber right there it's the inner barrel and the lip right there it's nice but overall she was neglected but now she is oh good for the time being but overall She's sitting pretty now. So, leaving work now. Um, in a predicament. That's locked. Those are shut. That's open, but... Uh, this is, there was another time where I almost got locked in here. So, let's hope, he, let's hope the security guy's still here so I could be out. If not, I'll just jump the fence. But, uh, let's try not to be sketchy. Alright, so I got out. The gate over there was open by security. But here she is. Beautiful old girl here. Uh, can't wait to do this her bud. All right, guys, so a little continuation from earlier. We were now at the shop, been at the shop for a little bit, just hanging out with Marcus. Um, Samuel went home. But, you know, I thought I might put a little goodie in the engine bay just because, you know, my engine bay is pretty stock. So the goodie that I got was a Circuit Sport well, you know overflow so it replaces this classic thing and i think that, you know, yeah this is this was broken so this is duct tape i didn't even notice that but replacing that for the snow shiny boy so it matches this i just gotta clean this this is just oxidized and stuff like that so i just gotta clean it but overall you know it'll just be a nice little piece for the corner and eventually you know you'll have a spoolie boy right there you know, making all the boost noises and stuff and like intercooler piping and stuff. So eventually we'll get there, but you know, little trinkets like this won't hurt, you know, and it just, I got this for free. So, you know, can't beat that. And then after we're done with the overflow, we're going to put my driver's seat back to a solid mount, fixed mount, just because I, if I were to take this to um, OSW, I would 
be required to have a helmet and right now with the rails the buddy club rails on it i am like literally like not even half an inch from the roof so once i go back to solid mounted um i'll be able to be i'll be able to wear a helmet in there so i just put the rails in there just because for adjustability and all that stuff and but you know who cares about that you know as long as i'm comfortable again perfect so yeah so we're gonna start with the circus board but obviously we're gonna take out the old one decided to uh, make some renovations in my engine bay. Clean. Now I just take a little sandpaper to the edges and sand it down a little bit. Yeah. Pretty much. But no, uh, overflow is in. It's nice tucked away, but once I, like I said before, once I get the China Choo Choo in here and the intercooler piping, it'll all be all together, nice and shiny in there. And then obviously the battery will be located to the rear and uh, I'll probably get an excessive manifold or the eBay excessive manifold, then that'll clean it up too. So, uh, yeah. Now, oh, dude, there's seat. another bracket right here. What are you talking about? Oh my god. That's, a, that's attached to that. I don't know what the hell that thing is about that. Metal air or something like that. Probably. Probably. But yeah. All right, so the Sparco is now out. See, it's on the Buddy Club seats. These are the super lows, but they're not low enough for me. So I'm going back to the eBay um, seat rail that I had on the Corbel that's on the other side that Marcus is sitting in. But we're just gonna solid mount it to this. And um, Marcus has it solid mounted in his car too. You have a light, okay. Yeah, so he has it solid mounted, but for me it might be a little difficult just because I sit a little more back. But honestly, I forgot that, I forgot how I felt when I sat in your car. I don't know if I was too close or not. Well, this is this is max forward because I have shorter legs. Okay, yeah. So you would have to have yours all the way back on the pieces. Yeah. But then again, I also have mine bolted in the forwardmost piece. Yeah. When you could use your forwardmost piece and then just have the back hang off of the edge. Yeah. And then just use the forwardmost one on this. Mm -hmm. So I actually need to adjust my seat because I want my seat to sit a little bit higher in the front. Yeah, so you dip down in the rear. Yeah. 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 And I need to make like another extension piece because I need to sit more closer to the steering wheel because my leg is fully extended when I press the clutch. And you want you, that a little bit. Just yeah, a little you don't bit. want full extension because if you have full extension and you get in a car accident, oh, it will shatter your hip. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I like to sit with a little bit of bend. So yeah. if it's kind of close, it's okay. But, you know, a little, little farther away from me wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. So. We'll just unbolt this, and then uh, Marcus is going to show me what to do, so. All right, guys, so a little bit later. Um... <laughs> yeah, a lot later. It's uh, 3 in the morning now. When we started this, it was like almost like 1 to 12-ish, 12-ish to 1-ish, something like that. But right now, we legitimately have the seat bolted in thanks to Marcus Parks, 
and um yeah but uh you know it is what it is when i sit down in it it'll go in yeah i know but uh yeah so the seats now solidly mounted but mounted legitly this time and um it's a lot better than what it was before and all thanks to mark sparks here you know trying to trying to get me away from just sending it so you know without him a little bit <laughs> give me another give me a different 14. Different 14 what do you want yeah, it's a quarter inch one. Quarter inch. yeah but uh yeah if it wasn't for marcus i would be stuck in a lot of places to be honest so. all right guys so now it is the next day and I just want to say thank you to Marcus again for staying late with me. Um, you kind of had to because I was just right home. But, um, you know, we finally got the seat back to normal. Um, the rails were just too high, even though they were the Buddy Club super low down uh, rails. So not low enough. But um, I mean, obviously I could have probably bought, you know, actually like real like low down seats or seat rails. But, you know, that's money. And, you know, like I always say, we're on a budget. But, um, yeah, just we've been doing little things here and there to the car. Um, nothing crazy. Um, uh, with the, the pandemic still going on, you know, money still ain't really here. But, you know, I'm trying to get videos out for you guys. Um, do what I can. Film what I can. Because, you know, at work, you know, I can film so much. So, you know, I hope you like me you know going through the dawn a little bit obviously i didn't show you guys everything that i do just because i was just trying to get it done um because uh i usually get out of work on saturdays at like seven and i got out at like eight so you know yeah i wasn't happy but um my cat making so much noise over there but uh yeah so i hope you guys like this video give it a thumbs up put it down in the comments for you guys want to see next and definitely stay tuned rock with me because you know what i tell people don't sleep on me because i am coming for vengeance even though there's nothing vengeful about you know anything but i don't know i just like saying that so i'll see you guys in the next one